again, in this lesson we're going to be talking about the area of 2D shapes, specifically the triangle and four quadrilaterals, a rectangle, a square, a parallelogram, and a trapezoid. So for a triangle, we have the area is one half the base times the height, B here is base, H is height, that kind of applies through all the formulas. So the base and the height, how can we identify them? They always form a right angle. They're always perpendicular to each other in the diagram. For a rectangle, area is length times width, doesn't matter which is which. In a square, those length and width are the same, so we just call it side squared. But you can certainly still use the formula for a rectangle to find the area of a square. For the area of a parallelogram, it's really like a rectangle that's been laid on its side and kind of squished to one side. So we, we have area equals base times height, which kind of looks like length times width, but just make sure it is the perpendicular base and height. For a trapezoid, we have two bases, one up top and one below, and they are the two sides that are parallel to each other. They have to be added first, then multiplied by the height, which is perpendicular, and then you need half of that. So let's go ahead and look at some examples of each of these. So let's do number two here. It is a triangle. So the base is not the side it's sitting on. The base is the side that's perpendicular to the height. So in this example, uh, our formula is one half base times height. So our height, our base is going to be the nine here because that's one edge of our uh, triangle, and the height is the perpendicular distance to the other edge, or 6.4. So that's area equals, and we're going to go ahead and multiply these three numbers together, 1 half times 9 times 6.4, and we're going to get 28.8, and now the units. These are yards squared. Always square units for area. That was yards and 9, 6.4 is yards, yards times yards is yards squared, just like x times x would be x squared. So don't forget your units. All right, for a rectangle, area is like times width. Doesn't matter which is which, 2 and 3.1. We're going to multiply those together to get 6.2 yards squared. So we've done a triangle, we've done a rectangle. Let's try another example. I'm going to skip this triangle, but let's do triangle number 8, just because here the height is drawn outside. We can't really draw it inside. If we tried to, it would be this weird line here, so it gets confusing. So we don't do it that way. We're going to look at the height as this outside red line here. So 1 half base times height again. So the base is 2 and the height is 3.8. So we can go ahead and multiply all those together. Now this shouldn't require a calculator. 2 times a half is 1. 1 times 3.8 is 3.8 kilometers squared. Really big triangle. All right, what is this next shape? We have a trapezoid, a pair of parallel sides. Not to be confused over here with a parallelogram. There is a pair of parallel sides, and there's another pair of parallel sides. That's two pairs of parallel sides in a parallelogram one pair of parallel sides in a trapezoid. Here's our formula, one half base, one half height times base one plus base two. Again, the bases are the parallel sides, the height is the perpendicular distance between them. Now you might also notice we don't have the same units. We have to convert these yards into feet first. We can do that by multiplying by three, and we get 14.4 on top and 28.4 in the middle there for our height. So we'll plug in our 24 for our height, 14.4 base one plus 29.4 for base two. Uh, 1 half times uh, 12, 24 is 12, and then we'll go ahead and add our uh, two bases together, and that'll give us 43.2, sorry, 43.8, and then we'll go ahead and multiply those together to get 525.6 feet squared. Now, we could have also done this in yards. If you had done it in yards by dividing the 29.4 by 3, we got 58.4 yards squared. All right, the last example we have to look at is a parallelogram, and this is a nice easy formula, area equals base times height, but don't be confused. It's not like this slanted distance here, this, you know, maybe 8 or something like that. It's the perpendicular base times its height. So 6 times 4.7 is going to give us 28.2 kilometers squared. So we'll go ahead and try some more just like that in class tomorrow. Don't forget your units squared every time.